Hello and welcome to this very special interview at NDTV where I am being joined by four-term Indian American Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna. Thank you so much sir for joining with NDTV. Thank you. So you are that. you are leading a delegation along with the Republican Congressman Michael Walsh. Yes. You will also be visiting and view, uh, witnessing the preparations as well as the celebration of Indian independence. So what is it? How do you look at this? What is the significance and the message that you want to share by this visit? Well, I'm very honored to be here. We will be at the Red Fort with the Prime Minister on India's Independence Day. That is to celebrate uh, India's independence and link it to America's independence. We share that in common. And my grandfather spent years in jail as part of the freedom fight, uh, so it is personal to me. And uh, this delegation is really going to help continue to build on the momentum of the Prime Minister's visit to the United States, and then President Biden is going to be coming here in September. Hmm. So, you, uh, first let's talk about the background that you spoke about. It would be very special as well as close for you as well, as you share a lot of things. This is the Independence uh, Day that you will be witnessing. Your grandfather has been over here. He has fought for this country's independence. How special is this visit for you personally as well, sir? Well, it's a great uh, honor to be here. I came here as a child uh, to Delhi, uh, would watch on television the mm. speech. My grandfather, uh, Amarnath Vidyalankar, spent two years in jail in, in Haryana after Lala Lajpatra, he worked for him, and then two years in jail as part of Quit India. Uh, so it's a, it's a great honor, and I grew up uh, reading the Trist of Destiny speech, uh, and uh, when the world sleeps, India awakens to freedom uh, and to life. And so to be there uh, with the Prime Minister is a, a great moment. Hmm. You also met the Prime Minister when he was at the U.S. So what was your takeaway about that meeting and what are you expecting when you will be meeting him in India during this Independence Day as well as before that you will be meeting him in Delhi as well? Well, we're going to continue to talk about the special partnership with the United States and India on defense, on the economy, on cricket, with cricket diplomacy, Absolutely. on technology, uh, and a shared commitment to democracy and how do we strengthen democracy to make sure we have pluralism, respect for minority rights, freedom of the press. Uh, these are such important values uh, to the United States and to India's founding. Hmm. Apart from Delhi, you will also be visiting Mumbai, Hyderabad as well as other places. So what are the key focus areas, sir, which you will be focusing on in this entire visit along with the other members in your delegation? Well, we're meeting a lot of business leaders here today in uh, Bombay, we're meeting cricket leaders, meeting people at the Naval Defense. So we're talking about defense, about the economy, the economic development. It's been impressive to me to come uh, to India after many years mm. and to see that every person in the market has now a digital payment that Absolutely. they can accept, to see the improvements in infrastructure, to see the ambition and hunger among young people. Mm. Uh, I also was reading the joint statement that was released from uh, high-tech technologies to everything that we have been discussing. How do you look at the relation between India and U.S. so far and what is happening or is it better than what it used to be or at a point, the highest point as of now? It's at the highest point it's ever been. I mean, there are more members of the India caucus that I chair than ever before. There is more defense cooperation than ever before. There is more economic cooperation. People are looking at India to be a hub uh, instead of China for a lot of uh, the Asia activity. Uh, so there is a, a, a deepening of the relationship. That's exactly what my next question was regarding China. Do you think that this relationship is also deepening because of the shared concern regarding China? I think that is one factor. I mean, obviously the Anur Anurachal Pradesh line of control issue for India, making sure that China doesn't cross that and doesn't become dominant and for the United States the issue of Taiwan. Mm. But a relationship isn't just based on se shared security concerns. It has to be people to people. That's why we're meeting Bollywood and cricket and culture uh, and technology. It has to be deeper and it has to be ultimately based on values. And that's why we will be talking about democracy and minority rights and pluralism and freedom of the press. So Amitabh Bachchan is one highlight. Any other special person that you will be meeting as you talk, uh, spoke about cricket? Mumbai is known for cricket. So will you be meeting other leaders as well as sports person in Mumbai as well? Well, they tell me they're going to try Sachin Tendulkar. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so you are meeting the two greatest of all time, Amitabh Bachchan of Bollywood as well as Sachin Tendulkar uh, from Cricket. So thank you so much thank for you. speaking to NDTV. As you heard, a packed schedule where a lot of things will be discussed and also very special uh, uh, for the congressman himself because of 
his family background so this is going to be a very interesting thing where a lot of relations between the two countries would be shared in mumbai with camera person pravin jirohit sohit mishra ndtv